Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, we're going to set up a wah pedal. I'm going to use the weeper wah. Then I'm going to assign it to foot switch 8. Click OK. Okay, so we have it assigned to foot switch 8 on off. I'm going to hold down the position button because that's going to be the parameter we're going to change. I'm going to change the controller all the way to MIDI CC. And by default, it's set to CC number 4. The second thing I'm going to do is hold down that position again. I'm going to change the max value to 60% because having the uh, the wah over 60% it starts to crack and sound really bad, distort and stuff. Okay, so now that we're in FL Studio, we're going to go to Options, Audio Settings. We're going to go to MIDI. I'm going to select the Line 6 Helix. Make sure that Send Master Sync is on and Port 1 is selected. Exit out of that. Go to Channel Rack or click on this icon. Click the Add button. Go up to MIDI Out. Ensure that Port 1 is selected. Channel 1. Now this is going to be our knob that controls the wah mount. So we're going to click the gear icon and that's going to help us configure it. Full name, I'm going to type in wah mount. Short name, wah. That's the label that's going to appear on the knob. Our MIDI CC value is 4. And our range is 0 to 127. That's the amount uh, that the wah pedal is going to be on. Uh, we set our max to 60%, so that means at 0, it's going to be at 0%, and at 127, it's going to be at 60%. Set our channel to 1, click Accept. So now when we uh, play a little bit and turn the, the knob, our wild mount is going to change. <laughs> If you were looking on the helix pedal, you'd actually see the position change. Now we're going to ensure that we have a blank preset selected from our patterns. And then we're going to right click on the knob, click edit events. We're going to do control and then uh, use your mouse wheel to scroll down. That's going to zoom out. Click the pencil icon. We're going to click around the first measure, drag it down to zero, then click just after the f uh, fourth measure and drag it up all the way. We're going to click the interpolate button, zoom out a little more, and then we're going to drag it over the fifth measure and all the way to the first can see when I released it made a perfect transition from 0 to uh, that 127 value. On the helix pedal that's going to be 0% to 60% wah amount. We're going to go to our playlist. Up here it would be the this button. We're going to click and that's going to add our pattern to the playlist. So that means from at this point in the song, we're going to start at 0% uh, wah and go up to 60% here. So I'm going to click on here, click the record button, I'm going to arm my track, and then we're going to click the play button with this countdown button selected. <laughs> So I'm going to edit this a little bit. So 
So when we play this all together, it's kind of going to fade in with the wah. And then at this point in the song, it's going to be full amount. Those were uh, previously recorded clips. have it.